Hello and welcome into the latest edition of the SPNFC. I'm Kay Murray, joined in the studio by Craig Burley, and we will start tonight's show by talking about Sadio Mane on his way to Bayern Munich, Liverpool, reaching an agreement with the club for the sale of him. The tabloids in England with their lovely headings, as always, sad. And here, value for Mane going here, money apparently a big part of the whole issue here. A three-year contract will undergo a medical next week, and it's said to be 32 million euros guaranteed and 9 million in add-ons as we now welcome in Alessandro Del Piero and Stevie Nicol. Welcome in, guys. Stevie, I'd like to start with you. Sadio Mane moving on. I mean, he's a big part of everything Liverpool have achieved in recent years. How does that sit with you? Well, I think if you'd asked me this question last uh, Christmas, then I would have had a problem with it, considering that, you know, Salah's contract was coming to an end shortly as well. I was, uh, I would have been, I would have been a worried man. But the truth is, the fact that between then and now, um, they've signed Diaz, and they've also just signed Darwin Nunes, actually means that they're one man stronger. Yes, yes, of course, Manny is is going to be a loss. But listen, football teams evolve, and and changes have to be made. And in my opinion, this is this is a good a good move. You know, you're getting great money for a guy who's 30. Uh, you brought in two players, one one who already has shown he is more than capable of filling Manny's boots. But you've also added a a, a guy in his early 20s uh, at centre forward, uh, which you needed uh, already. And so you you have. You have numbers up front and you have quality. Yes, we're all sad to see Manny go, but hey, football teams evolve and it's a good move for everybody. Do you agree with that, Ale? A good move for Sadio Mane, especially? Uh, I agree. Well, yes, I agree with the total uh, you know, things that uh, we are saying now. The, the good thing about this deal is the fact that uh, everybody knows in advance what to do. So Sane, uh, Sadio wants to leave. So, okay, they spoke with Liverpool. Everybody were, was okay about that. And they replaced him straight away. So that is the good part of the deal. Then somebody can prefer, you know, him instead of other ones. And I'm, I'm kind of want to stay with the same players if they perform well. I don't want to change that much. My, my opinion, but in the complex, if you see the complex situation, yes, it's a good deal for everybody. You don't like this move for Manet, do you? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I think from a football perspective, the biggest challenge was still at Liverpool, bearing in mind how strong they and Man City are. Clearly, Bayern are not as strong as they were, but they're still stronger than the rest of the Bundesliga, hence the 10 titles in a row, and they'll be strong favourites for an 11th. So from a football perspective, the biggest challenge was still in the Premier League and obviously the Champions League. But he's been good business for Liverpool. He's played well for Liverpool. And, and as Stevie said, things evolve. Players change their mind. Players want to make a move. And, and yeah, you know, Bayern Munich are a huge club. Uh, and he's had his heart set on it. So I don't, I don't have an issue with that. Uh, I just feel from a football perspective, the bigger challenge on the field was for me at Liverpool. Now, some might say, well, they're going to lose Lewandowski, possibly. That's it. Yes, it's a big hole, but they'll still be odds-on favourites to win the Bundesliga, uh, for sure. So, yeah, great move to a great club. Clearly, he wanted it to happen, and I think once you've got a player who has got his heart set on moving, and probably has done for a few months now, then you take the money. And as Stevie said, you move on, and you look at what else you've got, and who they've brought in. And it's not a drama. It's not a drama. It was interesting, though, what you were saying, Ale, about you wouldn't like to change too many pieces when a team's doing so well as they are. But they were just a point behind Man City. Mane was a big part of that. Is it a risk from Liverpool to lose this piece? Yes, it is a risk. I mean, when you, when you have an attack performing so well, you know, and a guy like this is scoring tons of goals and make a good a good relation with everybody at the end of the day. So it's, it's, it's always tough to change these kind of things. But probably inside Liverpool, they consider it many other things. You know, the, what the, the player wants, first of all, that is very important because you don't want to have players in your team that 
doesn't or not that doesn't want to have a, to stay, but you know at least you know doesn't think and have the mind some in some other places like Manaheim has in this moment. So, and sometimes also probably the consideration inside the Liverpool management is you know we're bringing new people. This is a good energy for the club because we are coming. Uh, we came from an amazing season, you know, two trophies, two second places. We need we need something more and something different. So now it's in the hand of Klopp to put everything in place. But to be honest, you know, he has great replacement. What kind of a hit does it take to Liverpool, him going? Uh, I suppose we'll find out. I mean, a, a lot of it will depend on the form of Firmino. Not necessarily because he'll start, but because there's now... Last year we talked about, from January onwards, three players from five. Uh, I suppose Nunes has been a striker. That's two, that's two strikers, really. I mean, he can play wide, Nunes. So it just it takes an option away from a guy who can play several positions. Through the middle, wide right, wide left manoeuvres around the pitch. It just takes one of those options away. I don't think Firmino and Nunez can Nunez can, can do that. But it's not a drama when you lose a player, albeit one that's been good for you, and you bring in a guy who was, had a great season for Benfica, who's 22 years old, who's over six foot, who's fast, who can score goals, who can link up, and has probably got 10 years ahead of you. Yeah, you've spent a lot of money, but it's not like they've lost Sadio Mane and they're sitting on their thumbs and it's the last day of the transfer window and they haven't brought anybody in. The business is already done. So that, that takes a big weight off Jurgen Klopp's shoulders. Uh, that is a big point as well, isn't it? The age of Darwin Nunez, Ali, just 22 years old. Yes, he was very expensive, but that's a, a long time you could have with him if everything turns out right. Exactly. One thing that I can add uh, is personality. This is strong personality. He knows what to do. He he is facing everything and everyone with no fear. And I remember, you know, when Benfica played in Liverpool, was was a big moment for him. You know, it was kind of a test because they were already talking about having him uh, join Liverpool, and he performed super well. So, you know, it, it's it's a good place. Liverpool now is a great place to play because there's energy. The fans are amazing, uh, and the you have results, so everything is, looks great. If you add players like this, can only go in good. It will be not easy, by the way, okay? Because what they did last year, kind of the season, play every single game possible, you know? It's, it's unbelievable. Maybe they're going to miss some of them next year, but they're going to finish on top, or close to the top in all the competition from my point of view. Stevie, just to put a bow on this topic, do you think there's no hard feelings on either side then between Mane and Liverpool? Oh, absolutely not. Not at all. You know, as a as a Liverpool fan, I'm honestly looking forward. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm delighted that we had Mane. Uh, I think he was absolutely fantastic for us. He scored some great goals. He scored some big goals. But I'm looking forward. You know, and we were never going to ever get another Mane. And, and I'm glad Liverpool haven't tried to do that. What they've done is they've gone, they've gone and got quality, yes, but they've got, they've got two guys in Diaz and, and Nunes whose style is completely different to what they've had. So I think it's exciting. You know, Diaz coming off the left, different to Manny completely. He's, a, he's an old-fashioned guy who will run at people and dribble past them, and he's shown that he can score goals as well. And, and with Darwin Nunes, again more of an old-fashioned type centre-forward, in my opinion, which Liverpool haven't had for years. Uh, it's a completely different way of playing, uh, whether it's going to be Nunes or, or Firmino. Um, so I, I, I just think this is great. Well, thank you, Manny. But you know what? The future looks good. They've spent well. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward. Uh, yeah. Thank so you and goodbye. Been, hey, he's, he's been taking the positivity pills. <laughs> Has he? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> he's happy as Larry, isn't he? You just sell a player, he's happy as Larry. Oh, I'm as well, him as well. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Stanley. Thank you, Larry, now. Yeah. Cheers for that.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.